Hello, marketers. Hope you're doing fine. First of all, thank you so much for giving love to the marketing soul. Great Marketers Club is growing and we are getting strong with passionate marketers onboarding every day. It is a blessing to see all this and very soon we will be going by the invite only membership. So those who have not joined yet, please join. You are going to have the best of the marketing community experience ever. Link is in the description. Please subscribe to the channel to stay tuned to the learnings from the marketing soul. I am delighted to introduce you to Dr. Rupinder Kaur, our marketer's lead talk speaker of the day. She is an aggregated trainer in soft skills, image consulting and self-assessment from ICBI and a member of Image Management Professional Association. Trained the trainer expert by Scotland Qualification Assurance and by NABET. She is a doctorate in marketing with more than 1.5 decade of experience and has trained thousands of corporate professionals and college students. Welcome, Dr. Rupinda, to Hashtag Marketers League Talk. Amazing to have you here. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful um, way of joining this. I'm, I'm really happy for this platform you've given to me, Sachin. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure is ours, sir. Uh, how it feels uh, to be the community mentor of the marketing soul, a community of passionate marketers? Well, uh, honestly, it's a wonderful job your company is doing as you have given a marketing community a togetherness, you see. I'm sure all marketing would love to join your platform and will learn a lot too. And I'm, I really wish you all the best and I would be there for, uh, you know, for your organization in any manner you require me. Uh, absolutely, definitely. And uh, we all are a community to learn, network and grow together. That's been the agenda that we have set at the community. Great. Uh, so uh, let's initiate the conversation uh, around the topic uh, which we have taken around uh, nurturing sales professionals. So sales professionals needs to be fit and fine, right? So when presenting it to the client, what are your personal statement tips uh, for a sales professionals? When you talk about uh, sales professionals, you know, there are basically four sort of styles which we always look for. There are four type of types of people uh, who work in this kind of a category. They are basically more of assertive sort of people. They are amiable sort of people. There are people who are really expressive and there are people who are really analytic. Because uh, if you talk about the differentiative part of these four types, uh, assertive are they're basically more uh, goal oriented. You can say they're competitive. They are a little impatient and they're very controlling. So this sort of people are a little louder. So. At the same time, when you talk about the people who are amiable, they are really patient. They're really friendly. They are open for all the challenges. They're calm. They're a bit informal. They're not into the formal attire all the time. And they are always uh, sort of a good listener. So they always pitch a vision in their life. And when you talk about expressive, they always ensure they're So, Dr. Rupinder, uh, sales professionals need to be fit and fine when presenting to a client. Your personal style statement for the sales professional, you know, how to develop a personality? What are your takes? Uh, very nice question, Sachin. When it comes to sales, you know, there are four type, types of personality styles. And these styles, people are differently being recognized in the sales team. Like one is assertive sort of people. There are amiable sort of people. There are people who express themselves really well, expressive people. And there are people who are analytic. So uh, explaining about these people are assertive are more of goal-oriented people. They are competitive. They are impatient. They're controlling sort of people. And of course, they are more in the people like uh, you know who speak in some sentences and less in the questions so at the same time when you talk about amiable sort of personalities amiable sort of personalities are more patient they're friendly they're always open for the challenges they're very calm they are a bit informal and at the same time they pitch whatever uh, the pitch they have a vision for it and they're not focusing on the product at all and when you talk about expressive sort of people, you can say they are more of people pleasing. So you know, they're colorful in their life, they're outgoing, they're creative, spontaneous, always enthusiastic for what they want to do. And at the same time, when you talk about analytic, they are very patient. So these sort of people 
uh, who are patient, who have all the time data ready with them. They know their geographical analysis, where they have to work on. And being into this sort of thing, I would never say that first, about every person should have one personality. Into the sales team, you should have all the personalities ready. You should be a part of each style. So as a sales expert in this, I would recommend all these styles to be adapted from. That's right. That's right. Uh, I think this um, uh, takes me to the another uh, thought, which is uh, loss of words. So a lot of sales professionals are very good at communicating at Hindi, maybe not to articulate their thoughts. But when it comes to conversing in English, they, they lose their esteem or maybe don't get the right words to explain to the, to the client. So uh, what would be your tips uh, to improve uh, no, interpersonal skills to the sales professionals? See, interpersonal skills, basically it involves the ability you know, to communicate and you can bring, build up a good relationship with the people around. And we also call this skill as a people skill. And when you talk about this skill, this includes your active listening, team building repetition, responsibility, then you have, you should have leadership qualities. You should, you should always be motivated to do anything. And a very important part is being patient and empathetic towards the people around. So what normally, uh, what sort of, you know, uh, things what we have to deliberately follow to get this interpersonal skills inside us. We can attend few workshops online. That means that there are a lot of videos like you're recording. There are a lot of questions which you, uh, you know, uh, there are people, experts who are working on it. We can know more about it. We can uh, listen to them. We can see, you know, opportunities in uh, building relationships with the people. If we're sitting at home, we're working from home, then we can uh, have many opportunities to build interpersonal skills. Like we can join a group, we can, uh, uh, that would be related to the networking part. There would be industry specific groups. And then we have to be thoughtful about the ways you interact. That would always be improving. Then ask trust friends, trusted friends. You can ask your trusted friends or colleagues whom you can really rely on. And then you can ask them for help that they can give you another prospects and how I can work on my interpersonal skills. Because of course, uh, building reputation and relationships is one part of it. And if in case you don't feel anything in this or about this, you can always look for mentorship. You can, uh, you can always look for mentors and whom you can trust, you can admire, you can, uh, you can have a, a counseling from them and you can always improve your interpersonal skills. In this. That, that's, that's right. I think it is important to interact uh, and thereby you get a clarity on the words and uh, the kind of influential uh, action that needs to be taken while you know, saying any statement at all. I do agree. So yeah. as a sales professional, you know, we always need to pitch to our customers daily. So uh, what are your observations which generally sales professional commit, they, they commit mistakes in their sales communication? See, sales is an art. I always consider this word as an art, you know. It takes both talent and skills to be a good salesperson. Otherwise, you won't be able to crack a sale at all. And then, um, of course, uh, just like sports, you know, uh, in order to reach mastery in sales, you need to practice, you have to take risks, you have to make mistakes and learn from them. So what normally what mistakes would do is if the salesperson is not listening and then talking too much, then there's a problem. Then when you talk to the customer, you always have to ensure that there is a ratio of open-ended questions with the listening talking ratio of 60 to 40 wherein you should be on 40 and the other person should be on 60. We should know this is what other people are also doing. We're just saying, saying and saying, not listening to the customer. And then of course, end of the day, we are not understanding what they want. And of course, not focusing on the solution at the same time. When you're not looking at the solution, of course, this is an old sort of tip, but however, this always works. This is the most important one. As a salesperson, you would be drawn to boost about all the cool features your protect or service has, but the problem is it's not going to make a sale, right? So we have to work according to it, focusing on price, not the value. See, people always buy the value and they don't focus on the price. They always want what they want. They will be happy to pay anything if they're convinced what they want to buy. 
so and at the same time making promises you can't keep if you really think you are unable to fulfill their promises your promises do not even commit a law you know uh, uh, wrong thing because end of the day that will be your drawback and you will uh, miss a good lead and a future prospects for yourself and and uh, not having an intention to close a lead there are people you know who really uh, want they they like sales oriented target oriented however end of the day don't even plan for it and they say ho jayega to theek hai nahi hoga to that's all right so they not that focused about converting that lead so then not having an intention it goes away and if sometimes what happen is we even argue with potential customers then also we uh, get the lead away up the way so and no homework not a lot many times we don't even work for the homework and which is ho jayega sale am kar lenge then also you're gone with the conversion and most important above all is not getting access to the decision makers if you're on a senior designation however you have more hierarchy on your same on the level and you're not getting the conf final confirmation from them so then also you're going to leave, uh, lose the game otherwise you will simply waste your time that's right uh, and uh, I, i do agree uh, the one problem that even i do have identified and this is the major problem in the sales professionals well they don't do the homework whether they are meeting to the client or it's a product yeah. information uh, majority you know the lacks into this they don't spend time on understanding their product which they are offering so uh, i i do agree over what you are saying and it, it's it's a commendable uh, inputs that you have shared in this question uh, and the community is going to learn a lot from this and i'm sure